Hey there folks, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have from Jeff Rosenstock, Hell Mode. You know, part of me is tempted to wade into some of the arguments about DIY musicianship and the modern online punk community, and especially Jeff Rosenstock going over the past week or two online. It's been kind of petty and stupid, you don't want to know. But I'm also well established in some of my thoughts on this, and I have been since I became a fan of Chumbawamba over a decade ago. If a label is going to be stupid enough to throw money at you and you're an anti-capitalist, and then you use that money to sharpen your craft and delivery, spread your message, and you maintain your ideals and integrity? Look, power doesn't corrupt. Power reveals. Take the money and run. That's the reason I didn't blink when hearing about Jeff Rosenstock getting a higher quality studio session through Polyvinyl, and why I'm quite happy to report back that with the veteran producer Jack Shirley, who is really on a hot streak after Home is Where's the Whaler earlier this year, this became less of an embrace of excess given the studio budget, more a refinement of Jeff Rosenstock's whip sharp pop songwriting for probably his best album since Worry. This is great. Now, similar to how Pup embraced cleaner textures and poppier structures on Morbid stuff, while never fully removing themselves from their rougher roots, especially in the knotted, sinuous bass lines, the mixes here embrace more synths, more horns, especially some jagged acoustic guitars that feel closer than ever to maybe folk punk or oi, with some tones even reminding me a little of early Weezer and the power pop side, with the polish now helping more of his melodies pop off in comparison comparison with the frustratingly blown out No Dream, with even a couple gentler ballads along the way. Still a sonic throwback to a lot of 90s punk, but a more refined, explosive version of it that you could even potentially hear crossing over. And the refinement has also mostly return to the lyrics, and some of the themes as well, where the introspective focus is still here, but it's less depressive and doomer-pilled, and while hope might still be really hard to come by, this is an album that is really trying to find it while being honest with where Rosenstock is now in life, with a little bit more success and comfort. That was found under a capitalistic structure that only seems to be getting so much worse for so many people. And one thing I really like about the writing on this album is how well Rosenstock explores some of that mental anguish, the doubt, the despair, the burnout of not really seeing systemic change, the creeping numbness and the feeling of even culpability, and the hard realities that he's not been wrong about what he's seeing and that there are those that will not deserve forgiveness for what they have done, and that implies a lot. It can absolutely feel like a bleak listen, but this time around, Rosenstock feels more desperately convinced of the reality he's got to be in this for the long haul. And so should you, which is a message that I found way more resonant and likable than any of the stuff he was peddling on No Dream. So as a whole, no, it's not a reinvention or an evolution, but when the message is just as relevant as it was a couple decades ago, if not more so, same language can work just fine. And it really helps, the album is great along the way, Helmo rocks, check it out. So yeah, if you guys want to see more reviews, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm actually happy to see this album get a lot of critical acclaim. I'm curious where y'all are falling on it. Beyond that, if you want to get albums onto my now rather packed schedule, link to my Patreon is right over there. And as always, I'm Mark. You're watching Spectrum Pulse. I'll see you next time.